Good morning from Let Us Eat. I'm Suzanne Ridgway and welcome to my channel. This morning I'm going to be using my leftover turkey right here. About half of it I would say. And I'm going to making a pot of turkey soup in my crock pot. And get you onto the stand. I'm going to start by adding in my boiling cube for extra flavoring. Now in my crock pot, I have all the bottom of the pan from the turkey I roasted yesterday. All the drippings, the meat, the juices, and the vegetables that uh, were solid up overnight. And I'm going to add about two cups of water in there. Fill the measuring cup all the way up to the number two line and pour it right in there. I'm going to give the celery a rough chop. I have a clear cutting board on my countertop that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. It's a two pack. They work really well and they clean really well. Some of the celery into the crock pot to make room. I always cut the celery thin so it softens up by the time dinner's ready. I'm also going to make some egg noodles on the side, but I won't do that until probably a half an hour before we eat. 45 minutes so they don't get mushy. See the cutting board? It's almost invisible on the counter. I'm just going to give it a quick rinse. Now I'm going to start to peel and mince my onion. I always peel the first couple of layers of the onion. Now I'm going to cut the onion in half, lay it on the flat side, and then flat side again, and then give it a quick chop all the way through. And then do the same thing on the opposite side. Careful of your fingers. Quick rinse, my ear, eyes are tearing up. When you're peeling onions and you're rinsing your hands, rub them on the stainless. It stops the tearing. I'm not sure why, but it works every time. And I always hold my breath. Well, not always. Now I have a, a 
bag of frozen vegetables, steamables. I'm putting in a half a bag of the steamables. Here's my turkey. I put it on the cutting board and I'm gonna chop it into better bite-sized pieces. Turning the turkey about bite sized pieces like this. My turkey came out really nice and juicy and tender from yesterday. I posted a video onto to YouTube yesterday, which I will link below with my stuffing recipe. At this time, please like and subscribe. And also look for me on um also look for me on Instagram. This is a relatively quick meal prep. There's just a lot of cutting. I'm going to give my hands a wash because it is a poultry type thing. I'm going to be adding in about a table, about a tablespoon of fresh black cracked pepper. I buy these at Aldi. And I put in about three tablespoons of garlic. At this time, I'm going to take my wooden spoon and mix the crock pot up. I think I'm going to just add a little bit more turkey, maybe, I'm not sure how to measure that out, but a few more pieces. If you noticed, I rarely cook with salt, and if we do cook with salt, I use sea salt, which I pick up at BJ's Wholesale Warehouse. Here's what the turkey soup looks like in my crock pot. Give it a stir. 
lots of turkey and vegetables. Be nice dinner to come home to. It's President's Day. My husband's taking our children over to get air in Albany for an hour of jump time. They're on winter break this week as well. If you liked my recipe, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button and tap the bell for future videos. I upload videos daily. And thank you for watching Let Us Eat with Suzanne Ridgway. Bye!